Hi, Dave Cook here uh, with a little short talk about uh, masonry hand tools. Uh, probably the most recognizable tool is the trowel. And there are many different sizes of trowels and they're all used for different applications. Um, the trowel's purpose is to spread the mortar on the masonry unit. And um, that masonry unit could be stone, it could be brick, it could be block, it could be glass block, any number of things that you use trowels for. Um, they come in all shapes and sizes. There's more than this, but this is a, 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 a good, good representation. This would be a, a block trowel. This would be a brick trowel. This would be a stone trowel. And this would be a tile trowel. The next thing that we come to um, are hammers. And hammers are used for dressing and, and, and cutting stone. They're for setting stone and for just generally working with, with moving stone around. So the most recognizable one is, is, is the classic brick hammer. It's got a square end on one side for, for chipping brick and it's got a chisel end for, for splitting brick. Um, this hammer here would be a stone hammer and it would be used for cutting stone or chipping stone or dressing stone. And this particular hammer has a carbide tip on this edge and a carbide tip on this edge for, for harder impact. Another common hammer is a, called a mash hammer. And this is basically a two pound sledge and it's used for working with chisels. Another hammer that is used is, is, a, is a mallet. This is a rubber, rubber face mallet, rubber, rubber head mallet. And it's used for, for setting flagstone, setting pavers, setting bricks. Um, something where you don't want a hard percussion, but you need to ha have some force. Then there's a number of chisels. Um, the, the standard chisel would be uh, a chisel like this, and it would be used for, for splitting brick or for or dressing stone. Uh, another chisel is, is a flat chisel like this called a floor chisel, and it would be used for flagstone. Um, and any number of stones that you needed a long flat surface that, that didn't have to be real strong. When you get to cutting stone, you use a, a chisel like this, and this is a carbide tip chisel where the very cutting edge is an inset piece of hard carbide in a, in a mild steel uh, frame. Um, th these are used on, on all manners of different stone, and there's, there's all sorts of different types of carbide chisels. Typically, there, you, you would use a chisel like this, or, 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 or this for, for stonework, or, and or for brickwork if you're, if you're cutting something in. Um, you'd also use a point chisel um, for taking off high, high spots in stone, or whatever you needed to have a, a, a discrete, direct impact for. But again, there's many chisels around. These are, these are the ones that I have in my tool bag, um, and uh, they, they seem to work well. And the next sort of hand tools are, are tools that are used for dressing and joining, or for when, after the stone is mortared into place, uh, you, you need to tool the joint and dress it. There are tuck pointers of, of, of different thicknesses, and, and they're used for brickwork primarily, and also for block work, and, and some for stonework. Um, there are tools called joiners, and these again are used for brickwork and blockwork, and they tool the joint to a convex or a concave surface, depending on which, which, which one you use. The, the next set of tools um, are, are primarily used for measuring and, and plumbing and leveling. Uh, uh, you know, clearly, clearly the, the major tool to use for leveling are, are, are levels. And so here's a four foot level, and it measures um, horizontal levelness and vertical plumbness. And they come in different sizes. This is a four foot, here's a two foot, here's a 16 inch, and this is called a torpedo level. And this would be used for doing small uh, things where you. Where you we're just looking at a small section. Um, along along with, with that whole measuring thing um, are, are squares. And so these are called speed squares. And there's a 12 inch speed square and 8 inch speed square. And you would use those um, for making sure that you were perpendicular to the work you were doing. Um, 
there's any number of squares available. There's another square that could be used. Um, and they all measure 90 degrees. So the C squares, if you can see this, um, have, have degrees on them and can be used to, uh, to measure different degrees. Uh, and act. Um, this square is called a bevel square and it's an adjustable square and it can be used for uh, determining an angle of, of the stone that is not 90 degrees. Typically these are used in fire boxes. Uh, they're also used in other applications but you know, in, in my experience, fire boxes mainly where we use be bevel square. Um, another, another measuring device is a plumb bob. This would drop from a string and hang straight down and would give you a reference point to a, a, a vertical line that was plumb. And you could measure off that. Um, other tools that are used all the time, a tape measure. Self-explanatory, you, you need to measure something, this is what you use. Um, the other tools that are, are, are handy this measuring thing are, are chalk lines. And this is a line that is set out and you put it on one end and you hold it here and you snap the line and it, and, and it, it creates a, 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 a chalk line that you can use as a reference line. And that's pretty much it for, for masonry hand tools. There are lots more out there in, in the industry, but these are the basic ones.